Hello guys and welcome to another historical battles with Ryan GB. This time in the P47 and look at that F for you. Yeah, he's loaded bombs. Really? Well, guess what's going to happen with that guy? Just guess. I mean, I'm reading right now. Um, <laughs> exactly my thoughts on that. I mean, really? F for you, broken plane, amazing fighter right now because he's so. Uh, overperforming and the guy loads bombs and goes tree cutting and I see now he's about to engage a P47 and look at what I'm going to start writing right now and look at the yeah he's already dead and I was already writing <laughs> bet <laughs> place bets of how much he's going to to live I mean really guys I know this is something I repeat a lot in my videos but uh, it will never get old don't load bombs in a fighter when you are at game start because first of all you are going to get killed in no time and second of all you are a non-asset to your team even more if you are in a plane as powerful as f for you but well okay let's move on to more useful stuff and um, an actual fighting so yeah here we are still climbing uh, you see that I'm climbing at 260 km per hour. I usually climb in this plane uh, between 260 to 280. Um, if you have seen my Fighter Combat School video about climbing, you should know that the P47 actually uh, cl climbs the best at 300-310 km per hour. But currently there's a problem with the flight model of this plane and that's that the uh, water emergency pro uh, power uh, it's not working and as such uh, you are not going to climb uh, very fast at all in this plane so you want to climb slower to um, get more altitude in less space and as you can see right now you will reach late to the combat zone where uh, when uh, the enemy is actually already distracted with other enemies um, and uh, then you'll be able to enter the combat in just when they don't expect you uh, you have to make up this stuff because the plane actually right now is underperforming but even so the plane is very very good you are going to see this in this video and uh, it's a pure boom and thumber. well you know that i'm going to link here my plane analysis for this plane um and yeah well what i'm doing right now is i'm i know right now i'm higher than any of the enemy so all I have to do is to reach the combat zone because they are all already engaged and I'm going to get uh, the pick on who I'm going to attack first. My train of thought in Boom and Thumbers and in, well, in all kind of fighters is always work your way from top to bottom. So try to uh, attack the highest enemies first and then work your way down uh, because the higher enemy is always the most dangerous one. So here you can see the higher ones are the ME four tens. So what I'm going to do is to dive on them. Se actually decide which of both I'm going to actually attack. And after I make my decision, which is going to be for that higher one, come close, open fire, and get his on him. That's a, a twin engine plane. Twin engine planes, as I told you, uh, currently have an inside damage model, and they require a ton of hits to go down. So, well, I simply got hit, moved away, and um, keep on doing what I do, which is next target in line, the highest one, which is that B409. Um, I dive on him and try to um, think what he's doing. What he's doing is attacking that B17 AI you can see there. So, I know where to aim. He's actually not evading because now he's aiming for, for the P63 uh, and I kill him. Time to zoom away or zoom away. <laughs> and again, assess the situation, select which is going to be the proper next enemy. Which I'm deciding is going to be that B109 down there. But as I look around, I see a lower 109 which is tangling with a P63 of our team and I'm not sure who's holding the advantage there. And I'm guessing the thing is tied, so I'm going to drop down and help our, our P63. Come down on the B109, it's a G. Get some shots on him. 
Zoom past him. And as I see he's mm, diving away, I top up my move. I, su I mm, see another high enemy. And again, change priority. Now the priority is that guy, because he's the highest one. He's the most dangerous one, and he's the one I want to track. <coughs> As you can see, I, I, I don't get focused on a single um, enemy. Uh, if I see... I, I constantly um, assess the tactical situation and choose my targets accordingly. Always keeping a look on the BF109. I don't. I want to make sure <coughs> he's actually not a threat any longer, and he's not. So yeah, I'm free to go for that for them. But soon I see that the 410 is actually engaged. He has a P47 and a P63 on him. And you are going to see me changing, uh, changing um, targets accordingly again very, very soon. Also, he's got killed, so whatever. I spot a couple of people on down there who are giving uh, for you a hard trouble. A Stuka there. A Stuka is a non factor in air combat, so uh, whatever. And I'm going to die for that BF109. And well, here I have to remember you which is the name of this video. This video is Wins and Derps. And you are about to see a pretty good derp on my side. I got lucky in this one, I have to say. Um, but I should have been paying more attention. I dive on that uh, BF109. I just for the shot. Open fire. My company yes, is at 300 meters, so it's the. This I want to shoot at, and yeah, that's the derp. I actually uh, hit him with my wing, but I get the kill anyway. But I should have been a lot more careful. I pressed a lot, I should have pulled it up, and uh, gone for another another um, uh, attack, to set another attack. I got lucky because I got a hard, uh, black wing, but the plane actually maneuvers really well. Uh, probably it's uh, big damage, but not enough to cause aerodynamic, pro aerodynamic problem. Um, but yeah, you have to be careful, and I, I, I didn't, I didn't. So again, now and then I can be a huge derp, and I was there. And sometimes luck is going to save you, but don't count on it a lot. Uh, the last I get alive is that Dornier 217. So yeah, we only have to go for him. And this again goes for to prove that good teams um, climb, because all my team, almost all my team, except the one made for that um, stupid, because there's no other way to put it, stupid F for you, was pretty, pretty smart and climbed. So Dornier coming for me, I just for a lead shot, get some hits on his tail. Maneuver as I can. The wing actually is, uh, you can feel the wing is, is giving me problems. Uh, as, as soon as I pull, the wing drops, but it's not bad enough to make the plane hard to control. And now I'm in a long pursuit towards him. I aim, make sure I'm not going to hit anyone, and open fire. He's on fire, I stop firing, but the fire is out, so I resume firing. Use tracer to lead my shots. I'm very far away from convergence, so I have to, I'm not expecting a lot of uh, damage in, in little time. But I'm hoping for damage uh, on time, over time, to do the job for me. And indeed, it does. Three kills, and not that bad of a, of a game. I could have mm, been killed uh, because of that black wing. I mean... Got really lucky, but still goes on to prove that the plane is really useful and really, really, I love this plane. Even while the web is not working, it's not, it's not. The the plane is underperforming, but it's it's sweet, sweet, sweet to fly. So well, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have fun. Um, I let you, to, I let the results up so you can see them. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and see you later.